So now let's work with some manipulators. Now we've got this one here. Now in that last video it was still showing in the uh, aircraft in the sim and I figured that out. Um, I had forgotten. So in your cockpit object and only in your cockpit object you have two different materials and you can see that here with the black and then that kind of goldish color. And so let me show here I've created a manipulator material and that manipulator material on this uh, under the X-Plane tab the draw linked objects you want that off because we do not want the object to be drawn and then down here on cockpit panel we want that to be part of the cockpit panel so that it can be clickable and so you need those settings on your manipulator material and then you apply that and so anything that has that material inside our cockpit object will be invisible but clickable now to make it actually click and do what you want that's over here on that op object itself we want to um, preferably use manipulators if there isn't a command to do exactly what you want to do then you can use a data ref instead but ideally you want to use a manipulator so this one is set up now and it's working it's got the right um, it's got the right material I've got my manipulator set up and so now to save us doing all of that all over again we're just we're simply going to duplicate and and then change what command we are using for each of our duplicated parts now I'm going to shift select our panel so that we can see it bring us back into this view and with that manipulator object selected what I'm first going to do I'm just going to tab into it select that face and I'm going to duplicate all here in edit mode first and then I'll separate them Okay, so we've got that whole line of switches and now a simple thing to do is select all, hit P and then by loose parts and now all of those have been separated now remember this was our first one so it's going to remain so this actually you selected that last one as the original which we don't want because our first one has the right command for that switch um, but we're gonna go through and rename these so this one here up here I'm gonna change that and that is my avionics switch I'll do that just to rename it and then down under our manipulator we need to change our command so I'm going to search for avionics and avionics toggle is the one I want to use for right now so I'm going to do avionics toggle and now that manipulator so now we have two manipulators that are set up and should work I'm going to select this last one here real quick and just change its name so that I can rename my first one the way I actually wanted it to be so now uh, I just need to pull up my reference image real quick so I know which switches I'm doing
Okay, so my next switch here, I want to be my nav lights. I'll come down here. Search nav. And there we go, sim lights, nav lights, toggle. So we'll select that one. And now that one should be good to go. Jump to our next one. Next one is going to be our strobe. And strobe lights toggle right there. See, next we're going to have some landing lights. sure what I'm going to do with that switch just yet. So this next one over here, that's going to be for the pedo heat. And we're going to use this pedo heat zero toggle because we're only we only have one pedo heat and, and it starts at uh, zero. Generally, everything starts at zero. So we're going to do that. And I've also noticed while I'm doing this that I've been missing my tool tip. Now you don't need to put a tool tip in here, but if you put one in, make sure it's the right one. Now all all of these at the moment say. Uh, battery, which we don't want to, we don't want that to, to happen. So I'm going to just jump back and fix all these real quick. Oops, that didn't save. switch here it's going to be our fuel boost pump Let's just call it fuel pump and we'll change this fuel Here we go, just trying to find the command that's going to best fit. And uh, so we've got fuel pumps toggle. So we'll use that. If you had multiple pumps, then you could use, like it was showing fuel pump one, fuel pump two, you could do that. But uh, this is only going to have one pump, so I'm just going to do fuel pumps toggle right there. All right, so we should have a selection of functioning um, switches here. So I'm going to jump back to just our cockpit object. Remember this is the whole cockpit object. It's just your displays and your switches. And uh, we're going to go ahead and 
export this real quick. And uh, so remember, so we're on layer five and it's set up to cockpit textures there. It doesn't matter because it's the cockpit. And um, all that should be good to go. And so I'm just gonna hit export here. It only exports the visible layers. So since this is the only visible layer, it's only gonna export uh, layer number five. If we shift selected a bunch of our layers, all of those would get exported, but we only want to export this specific layer at the moment. So I'm going to save that. Let's see, we'll jump to our aircraft real quick. Under objects, here's our cockpit object, and it shows that it was just saved. And uh, so now, We'll pull up X-Plane real quick, see if it doesn't, if it'll load quick enough for us. If I remember, I will cut the loading screen out of this video. It's just a question of whether or not I remember to do that before I upload it. All right, so here we are in the sim. And now that we have a 3D cockpit, it, it automatically loads us into that 3D cockpit. Um, you can see all of our stuff here. You can see that our manipulators now, so you see that little hands popping up each time I go over these. So we know that they're there. And uh, say we turn the battery switch off now there's, these aren't animated so you're not going to see that move yet but if we click that we lose our screens also our avionics switch if we click that we lose our screens and uh, these other manipulators should be working and we could pull up the data ref editor to which is what these windows are here to verify that they are working um, but because we actually don't have any lights at the moment, they're, they're functioning, but there's no lights to prove it. But anyway, that's uh, at least some of the manipulators, and we will continue along with more of them in a future video, as well as um, getting our displays lined up perfectly with the texture.